Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In Anime Studio 9, GPU acceleration was introduced. And it was used to enhance the performance of images that were imported into Anime Studio. As an example, I have an image here on screen, and basically, if you were to zoom in on this image, kind of zoom in here on this part, you can see that the image looks blocky. So if you were to enlarge your image or zoom in with the camera tool to a point, you would then see this pixelated look. What GPU acceleration did and you can now activate it here in version 10 by going down here to display quality is it would smooth things out. So if you click on GPU acceleration, you can see now that there is a definite shift in quality just by clicking back and forth between these two. And if I zoom out, if I were to deselect this, you can see that things look a little bit distorted with it off and then when you turn it on, it looks smooth. So there was a definite benefit there as well with performance issues. It would typically run faster and just perform better when you were working with images. Now with Anime Studio 10, this feature has been introduced with most graphical elements, including vector graphics. So if I come over here to a project file that has a vector graphic heavy scene, what I can do here is I'll turn GPU acceleration off. Now in this case, you're not going to see much of a difference while it's sitting here. But as I page forward, you can see that it's kind of hard to tell what's going on with this scene because everything is kind of the same color and that's because there's a lot of gradients and effects in here and you don't really see those when you're scrubbing forward and back like this. However, if you were to go back into your display quality and choose GPU acceleration and now you play this you can see now it's taking advantage of the GPU and you're getting a more accurate visual of what this will look like when you export it out. So that can be really useful and again there are performance enhancements here as well as the GPU is built more for these types of processes. So be sure to keep this option in mind, especially if you have a scene like this where it's kind of hard to tell what things will look like and you want more of an accurate representation of what the scene will look like. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, you can visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.